Hi again, everyone. Welcome to Base Sunday. I'm your host, Frank Malicote. Our first guest is doing some amazing work. He is an entrepreneurial professor at USF and the founder of Not For Sale. It's a nonprofit that helps break the cycle of exploitation of at-risk communities all around the world by providing them safety, stability, education, and more important, an economic engine for change. One of those products is called Rebel. It's a tea company that is making a big difference in the Peruvian Amazon. So let's say hi to David Batstone. How are you? Hey, it's good to be here. Good Thanks for having me We've on. Been waxing poetic here for a few minutes prior, but uh, this all started, you ate dinner at a restaurant in Berkeley for a long time and you you found out about human trafficking going on there. Yeah, you know, I was, a, I was a venture capitalist here in Northern California, professor at USF. I wasn't looking for another gig. Yeah. So I was really shocked that the restaurant I had gone to on a regular basis is over in the East Bay. It turned out to be a human trafficking ring that had brought over 500 teenagers from the area of Bangalore, India, into the San Francisco Bay Area mm -hmm. for the purpose of forced labor, modern slavery. And Not For Sale was spawned in, what, 2007? And exactly. the whole idea behind that was to stop it, but not only to stop it, to provide some sort of mechanism so these people could get out of that for, yeah, for a lifetime. Yeah, you know, Frank, initially, you know, I, I have to say, I, I shut my brain down and opened my heart. And yeah. so I just started building shelters. I started doing intervention. And it's all really important stuff. It's like compassion. It's like immediate aid. Mm -hmm. But at some point, I felt like I was at the end of a river, and I'm pulling bodies out as they're drowning and flailing. I'm like... Where are these bodies coming from? I need to go upstream. So about four years into it, I changed uh, gears. Okay, so you, you got to the root of the problem. Exactly. That took you to Peru. Tell us about the people you met down there and what inspired you to make this rebel. Okay, so Peru and Lima, we had one of the shelters that I described. We helped young kids who are now in the streets of Lima. As we got to know these kids, we went upstream literally and found that many of them are from indigenous tribes, indigenous people in the Amazon area. Mm -hmm. Amazon area in Peru is very exploited, illegal logging, illegal mining, uh, charcoal, commercial sex industry. So we said, look, let's try and figure out how to solve the problem upstream. To do that, instead of like doing like a typical charity, let's raise some funds, I'm going to come and ask you for a check. Sure. Let's get people who have been successful in their business careers together and have them come up with a solution. So a think tank of sorts. You did it in Montero out on the coast exactly. here, not too far from where you live. Uh, you had, uh, well, VCs like yourself. You had attorneys. You had agronomists. Founder of Twitter. Twitter, The yeah. owner of All Big Saints. Yeah. <laughs> and the one guy that comes up with this idea happens to be a relief pitcher for the Giants, Jeremy <laughs> Exactly. Ethel. It's so funny because going into it, he was very resistant to participating because he never graduated from college. You know, he never went to college. And so, so what can I add to all these kind of finance people and business? Well, Jeremy, just be yourself and he comes up with a winning idea I know they're sitting around and he goes how about tea <laughs> hey well there's such great resources in the right. Amazon including these great herbs that have been used by shamans for centuries right. for medicinal and health purposes so Jeremy said well why don't we throw it into a drink and so uh, you know we uh, on Monday morning I said okay I'm gonna start a beverage company I called Jeremy up, so you're going to invest? He goes, invest in what? Is that the idea you had? He goes, what? I got a game to play. My you're going to run with that? Um, so tell us how Rebel has grown. And by the yeah. way, what does Rebel stand for? Okay, Rebel is roots, extract, bark, berry, leaves. So it's, it's, it's a Rebel. It regular. It, exactly. <laughs> so it's about health. It's about these uh, long-standing traditions of where these uh, herbs come from. Mm -hmm. So throw that into a drink. No artificial sugar. We, we use coconut uh, milk sweetener. Mm -hmm. So it's, everything's natural from a coconut flour, and really what, it's super healthy for you. See, the thing is, Frank, I would bring a bottle of Rebel, which now is all over the United States. Initially, it was just the Bay Area. We had like in Berkeley Bowl, Rainbow Market, kind of the places you'd think. Sure. Now we're in Sprouts, we're in Whole Foods, we're in, you know, Main Street markets around the country. And it's generating revenue, not only for the people down there, but they have jobs now. They're living better lives. They're staying out of the trafficking. And this model you have taken and you're applying it to other areas now, too, right? Exactly. So, you know, the model is 2.5% of the gross revenue. So if a bottle sells for 4 bucks, $0.10 cents goes straight, not profit, after taxes, goes straight to the work of not for sale. Mm -hmm. We create jobs in the sourcing of the ingredients. Then we return money back to the communities. And not for sale owns a part of the equity so that when there is earnings being generated, it keeps coming back to not for sale. It's a sustainable future. So we started uh, working with another company called Square Bar. Mm -hmm. It's in the East Bay, Alameda. Uh -huh. And again, 2.5% of the gross revenue. It's like, a, it's like a very healthy protein bar. Mm -hmm. So we've created eight companies now. 
because we want to create jobs and create a sustainable future rather than a charity where we're always begging for money. Okay. Well, my gosh, you're doing great work. It well, must thank be you fun. very much. I really love it. Go to Berkeley Bowl. Go to Whole Foods. Go to Sprouts. Get some Rebel. Be different. There be a Rebel. Go. And, and a Go Bears to you, my friend. Yes. Is, uh, get a PhD there. Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, you beat me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you like more information about Rebel, log on to Rebel.com. That's Rebel.com. There we go. Dot co. Okay, rebel.co. There we go. We'll be back with an interview by our KPX5 political analyst, Melissa Kane. That's coming up right after the break. Stay right there.